Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse. Um, doing another beer from my Flavely box set. Um, and I've really enjoyed that one. And I've actually been learning stuff from the free uh, craft beer textbook that they gave me. Uh, that was nice, that did a bit of hope. Creaky chair. So this is a Hellas. Um, and I wasn't really sure what it was. It's a Bavarian um, sort of, you've got Czech Pilsner, uh, Bavarian Hellas, and sort of, Everyone knows the Pilsners, not everybody knows of Hellas. This is a Hellas. So this is Freedom Brewery's um, Pale Floral Organic Lager. So I don't think I've had an organic lager before. So to be organic, they've actually got to jump through some hoops. Um, they've got to be organic right from the start. The core ingredients has to be certified organic. All the processes have to be organic. And, you know, for them to do that, there's a lot of work gone into it. Um, and it is certified by the Soil Association. I'll put a little close-up on the back. Uh, it's also vegan-friendly, which is great. You know, get drink with the rest of us. Um, and so if you're into that type of thing, you know, this could well be your beer. It's a 4.8 by volume. Comes in these little 330 mil cans. I still don't know how I feel about 330 mil cans, but there you go. Okay, so we have a straw coloured, crystal clear. Not much head on that at all. Um, in fact, hardly anything. That's as flat as a pancake, that. Ooh. Just going to check the date just to see. Yeah, 24th of the 11th. 21 to the end of the year so anyway let's give it a sniff and see how we go it's not a great deal on the nose if I want it the first impression there was nothing and then a subtle sort of lemon tinge came through but really subtle Bit of sort of bready malt there. Not a great deal else. Let's see what she tastes like. We can have a cut while I open up another can because this is as flat as a pancake. And I'm just wondering. So let's have a cut. Let's open up another can. Can number two. So. Because no, it, it does say, it's pour a bit more aggressively. Oh, that's got... Yeah, but I had to slop that in there, which is I normally do. That's okay, because it does say, according to this their textbook, that it should be a uh, lighter, crisper, more honey notes and brioche. It's going quick, though. Why more honey and brioche? Well, they just say bread. Pretentious. Okay, so second can. So that head is dissipating. As you saw, I did my usual David slop. Still not a biting carbon. I'd like it to be a little bit more heavily carbonated. A biting carbonation can give you that refreshing feel. Um, and you don't want it over. It's a fine line, but this is... Um, mm. So flavour-wise, an interesting malt. Mmm. Perhaps that's why Pilsner's more popular. Well, yeah, there you go. So it's not bad. I said I'm getting a lemony sort of back end, but not a biting lemon in. Just a very subtle, uh, you know, they say I should be getting honey, and I'm not getting any of that. Um... It's more biscuit than a brioche. It's just the mouthfeel and the carbonation that's letting this down. This is not bad at all. Um, again, yeah, it's that. The, trying to be positive. 
it's a nice flavour. It's a nice subtle malts. It's not you know a big smack in the mouth full of malts, um, but it is the mouthfeel and the carbonation that's letting it down. Um, I don't know. Have you tried a Freedom Brewery um, or a Freedom uh, Hellis? Um, have you tried other organic lagers? Is there something in the you know chemistry mix of other lagers that makes it more carbonated? Um, mm, okay. Uh, so there you go. If you're interested in this one, you're going to have to sort it out. Uh, sort it out. Search it out. Um, I don't know how poply the poply. <laughs> Ah, a drink problem, drinking with two hands. Okay, if you're interested, you're going to have to search this one out. I don't know, I don't know how popular they are. Do not wrong me tonight. Um, yes, um, mm, bit disappointed by the mouthfeel, but the flavour. is not bad. So. I hope my inane ramblings are amusing you. If they are, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. Cheers.